I assume you are being a very silly kitty today. Good evening, Internet. Um, this is actually... I've gone through a lot of takes of this. This has not been my day. I mean, between having to clean up my cats throwing up water all over the place in my kitchen, which, water being clear means that I couldn't see it, and the only way that I saw it was by stepping in it. I've now stepped in... Barfed up kitty water about nine times in the past hour. Um, today I was planning on doing an episode on board gaming. Um, I love board games. I love board games quite a bit. I was I actually have this green blanket here that I was setting up on top of my table. I was opening up one of my I wouldn't call it my favorite board game, but a very interesting board game that's not very popular. Um, I was setting it up, I was going through my initial bit of outline in my head as to what I wanted to talk about, and I realized it was really freaking boring. Um, mind you, I think it was boring. I didn't think the rest of the episodes were that boring by comparison. And yeah, um, I think one of my cats decided to go jump up. Isun, off the table, now! I think one of my cats decided to go jump up off the rafters in my basement. Oh, they're going to have even more fun with the rafters in my new house. Um, so, in any case, I didn't end up doing the board game episode. Um, I don't think anybody was particularly interested in it anyway. I don't think I'll be disappointing too many people. Uh, today's just been a somewhat bad day overall for me. I've kind of feeling out of focus, I guess you would say. Uh, kind of like if I'm having a hard time focusing on any one particular task because my brain is just hurting. So this vlog may be a little disparate and not all that well put together. Um, this is actually on the same video recording as my previous two attempts. I just cut out the beginning part. Um, so. Today's the second to last Vita, and I am completely out of ideas of interesting stuff to talk about. What in the world are my cats doing? Um, don't know, I'll talk about what I'm planning on doing this week. Uh, tomorrow will be the last Vita. I'm planning tentatively on actually having a video on Wednesday as well. Not going to guarantee it, though. I really need to pack. Um, as you can tell from the background, I still have stuff everywhere. I haven't started packing. I'm paying somebody to do my move. I've learned the hard way that I tend to injure myself whenever I move myself. One moment. I need to go take a look at my cats and see what they're doing. So, to answer the question as to what my cats are doing, they are both, in fact, in my rafter. Um, I won't bother pointing this camera down because, well, it's about eight feet up and this room is the antithesis of clean. Um, the only thing that I really use this room for in the basement is to store a couple of my older computer parts and, well, cat litter boxes. You really don't want to see those. In any case, my cats love hiding up there or in the rafter behind me. I don't know why. I haven't figured out why. They don't like going down. I'm going to go ahead and stop this part of the video and then come back upstairs and start talking about something else. Now that my cats are back to, you know, not being in the rafters. Kitties, why are you being crazy? I know you want food. You still have another half an hour before I feed you. I need to finish up the speed out, okay? You smell like litter boxes, Zone. <sighs> Where was I? Right, I was talking about nothing. Um... Yeah. Wish I had a real subject. Right, so, uh, I thought I would talk a little bit about my new house. 
Uh, I will be recording a video of the house once I actually own it. I feel a little weird about recording video of a place that I don't own and that's not a public space. Um, uh, the closing of the house is Thursday, so I'm anticipating that to be my video this coming weekend. I'll also be doing measurements of things, try to figure out where I want stuff before I hire movers to move me over there. Um, so, the house is a very large, very beautiful house. Uh, it's a four bedroom, two and a half, two and a quarter, or if you want to call it, two and a half bathroom house. Uh, it's large, it's a split level house. Um, according to the schematics, they call it a tri level house. I would call it a quad level house because there's a basement that's underneath the living room section, the living room section being the first floor. There's the garage plus family room section, which is below that of the living room section, but not directly below, but below off to the side. And then on top of the family room garage area are the bedrooms. Now you see what I mean by quad level, there's four. Anyway, um, I've never lived in a house like this before. Um, technically, I've only ever lived in three houses in my life. Um, the first house I lived in was for a very brief period of time, maybe about a month or two, I actually lived with my grandparents. Uh, I would have been turning eight at the time. Um, my grandparents' house is, well, it's a ranch-style house. It's nice. Um, most houses in Florida were ranch-style because you really don't want a second story when you have hurricanes. Uh, the second house I lived in would have been my mother's house. Uh, my mother bought a house when I was 16. Um, it's a little on the small side. It was definitely what you would call a fixer-upper. Um, the house is still a fixer-upper, I should say. It's perpetually falling apart. Um, I did not exactly live there very long. I left home when I was 17, so not exactly a whole bunch of memories from either of those houses. Third house that I've lived in for a brief period of time, about one year, uh, that was living with a friend of mine. Hi, Ben. Um, their house is big, wood frame, very old house. Um, there were some problems with the house, of course, it needed repairs, things like that. But that wasn't really my house. I was more living in a room of it. And I'm still very grateful, by the way, Ben, I'm very grateful for you letting me stay at that house. Um, this will be the first house of my own. I plan on living there for a long time, minimum five years, because I wouldn't be buying a house if I was going to live anywhere for less than five years. I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to houses. Um, I've never owned a house. I've never actually lived in a room that the paint on the walls, assuming that there was paint, was not white or off-white. At all. Ever. That includes every house that I've been in. Um, when I was living with my, er, when I was living at my friend's house, that was wallpaper on the wall, so I don't really count that. Um, this place will be the first place I'll live in without white on the walls. There's white on some of the walls, of course, but not all of the bedrooms. Three of the bedrooms are painted. Um, one's brown, the other two are other, maybe neon. I don't know what you would define it as. Well, when I take the video of the place, um, you all will see what I mean, but that's going to be a week or so. Um, I am unfamiliar with a lot of things when it comes to this house. Like, I've, I've bought a washer and dryer before, but it wasn't really much of a choice at the time. Uh, there was only one particular washer and dryer unit that would fit in the space that I had in that apartment. It was a slim-sized washing machine and dryer. When you only have one choice, it makes things quite a bit easier to select. Um, in this case, I have never actually picked out a washer and dryer before. So yeah, I'm gonna have the fun of doing that because the new house doesn't have a washing machine or dryer. Uh, the new house has appliances that I've never used before. Uh, it has a um, glass cooktop electric range plus oven. I've never cooked on a glass cooktop before. Hopefully I don't screw it up. Uh, dishwasher as well, it's a dishwasher. It's slightly better than what I have right now, so nothing super special. Um, the fridge. 
There's always cats running around in the background of my Vita videos, aren't there? Um, the fridge of my place is a $14,000 fridge. It's pretty awesome. Um, I have never had a refrigerator that has even a tenth of the features that this one has. I would never have bought it myself because I'm a cheapskate and I don't need a $14,000 fridge. I wouldn't be able to afford a $14,000 fridge for that matter. That costs more than some cars. I can buy like 14 computers with that. Um, the fridge is a lot of features. It's really, really big. It's, well, it's a $14,000 fridge. I'll probably end up dedicating a full video to it later. Um, I have no idea how to maintain it. I was given a little bit of instruction from the current owner of the place telling me where the water filter and air filters are in the refrigerator. Yes, it actually has an air filter. That way you don't need to put in a box of baking soda in order to deodorize the fridge. That's how high end of this fridge is. Um, the house has a both a living room and a family room. It also has a full basement that I don't know what to do with all of the space. I basically live by myself right now. Um, I have my two cats. Uh, Critter visits me from time to time. She'll probably be moving here at some point, but for the time being, it's just me in a four bedroom house. I can give each of my cats a bedroom and still have a guest bedroom. I am scared out of my mind. For those of you that are still watching this, one, holy crap, you're still watching this? I stopped talking about important things like after five seconds. And two, um, if you have any tips for like a new homeowner or anything like that, please let me know. I'm very nervous about this whole thing. I. My brain keeps telling me I'm making a horrible, horrible mistake by buying a house. Um, I've never lived, I've mentioned this before, I've never lived in the same place for longer than, uh, my record is three and a half years. Um, so the idea that I'm living in a place even for five years scares me a lot. Um, never mind potentially 10, 15, 30, 60, 100. I plan on living forever, of course. Um, a few thousand years would be nice. Yeah, I butchered that smack quote. I'm going to go ahead and stop this video now. It's already way too long, and I'm going to have to edit this. Enjoy, internet. Um, tomorrow will be the last Vita video. I would say I have something special planned, but I don't anymore. We'll see what I can do. Enjoy.